Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of this year's uh, Bundesliga jersey review and as I mentioned last time we have here now Bundesliga jerseys but I didn't say anything about the other jerseys here uh, of course you recognize the two Germany jerseys in there because I need to fill up the spaces and then uh, I went with national team jerseys from uh, nations that typically have some players in the Bundesliga, uh, namely Austria, Switzerland, I have Croatia in there, uh, Belgium, I have to say, was a little bit contentious, but you know, at least Thorgan Hazard is in there, and then of course Norway and Poland for the big two striker stars. That's goals. Cool. So I also wear my, of all the Bundesliga jerseys I have, it's not my favorite team, but it's my favorite jersey. I'm wearing this wonderful 97, 98 Hertha. Uh, home jersey. This is among, this is the first together with Dor Dortmund jersey that I got. It is still my it is my favorite uh, Bundesliga jersey in my collection. Now uh, you of course may, might wonder if you haven't seen the previous ones. How did I select uh, teams in this video? Well, I took last year's standings, which Bundesliga has only eighteen teams. Went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. I'm making four parts. And every team that has a number two next to it, uh, as you see in the table on the side, is in this video. Rather easy. And then I order it alphabetically in how I typically call the team. Which means in this video we'll start with Augsburg. Um, who honestly, the home jersey, this is one of the most boring jerseys this season uh it's right up there with another team that uh, that we'll see in part four um yeah honestly i i really hate this on a home jersey going with a monochromatic crest and not having any of your club's colors except white i mean for me augsburg is green uh red and white that's what augsburg what uh, what i expect from an augsburg jersey this is white and black this is probably an away or a third jersey at the very best. Uh, the template is nice, okay, but that's about it. Uh, this is awful, awful and so off-brand. I'm, I'm gonna give this, yeah, no, I'm gonna give this two stars just for not complying with any uh, common decency in releasing a home jersey. Unless they do well, I don't expect this to sell a lot. Much better is the away jersey, which just takes a, a typical Nike template. It's in, and you use a club color, green. However, you also discolor the crest. Here you could have gone also full color crest. I think if the home jersey would have gotten just with a full color crest, it would already be an improvement. But at least we get one of the club's colors with um, a white. I wish for a little bit more red here. And that is just a very, 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 very simple template uh, that I don't find even that great. Yes, it tries to go with the 90s uh, style of Nike. Four, four stars, really, four or four stars. I don't like what Augsburg is doing this season. Last season, I think it was last season's home jersey or, or away jersey here. Uh, that's a whole lot better. Um, that's what I would expect. To be honest, here you have a full color crest. See, red, white, there's a little bit green there, 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 there's a tree. Is it great? No, it is absolutely not a great jersey overall, but I think it is fine enough uh, that we can give this, yeah. I wonder now, uh, if I better give it eight or six stars last, last, last season. I would give this six stars, honestly, uh, if I look at it that way. Let's go to the big boys in this uh, set, which are Dortmund. And this is not crafted by culture by Puma. This, or maybe, uh, maybe the black uh, stains are from the coal mines. Uh, you know, I'm making, I'm making this up right now. First off, we have a new sponsor, and this new sponsor, the uh, fun, the funny story is, the sponsor should be uh, blue and white. The blocks should be blue. Of course, this cannot happen on a Dortmund jersey. Absolutely cannot. So they make it black and it actually fits. This is for the first time in a long time that I see a sponsor that color-wise fits very well with, with the Dortmund jersey. I just, why do we need to have the box? If this just says one and one without the box, and I know the sponsor logo is a box, a blue box with uh, the white one and one in there. But if this was just one and one, it's all you need in there. It, kind of it goes against this wild pattern on there 
And speaking of this wild pattern, what uh, is this? Oh, really, what is this? Uh, <laughs> looks like something's torn, uh, torn torn up i mean I, i'm I'm, uh, I'm looking at the hulk which maybe fits with holland a little bit if this was green well, uh, I, I i would think that there's that, something dortmund just sometimes really produces off jerseys uh and that is one of those uh yeah my mood doesn't get much better with that dad but i've got to give this uh four stars i never like this type of jersey here the away jersey though, I have to say I can get a whole lot more on board with it. Yes, the sponsor again is hideous uh, the way it is done, but you have this yellow sash in there and then a little bit, you know, uh, some Dortmund logo scribbled on there. That actually looks a, a very usable uh, away jersey and for that reason I'm actually willing to get, uh, the sponsor pushes a little bit down, I'm gonna give this seven stars for that reason, but other than that, it's a really nice one. The sponsor here was yellow. Yeah, no, no, no. It just again, one and one, don't use a box. Really, don't use a box. Uh, in Italy, they got, got, got rid of that. Um, there are two more jerseys that Dortmund issued, but they are cup jerseys, so I will do this when I finally get to do a Champions League review. So I keep it at those two Dortmund jerseys for now, although I can imagine that they will use the cup jerseys at one point. Let's go to the capital, Hertha. Who are finally releasing a normal jersey again. I mean, the last few seasons, Hertha's look was always a little bit off. And for now, they don't even have a sponsor on there. And the only thing they sponsored, because they want to have a big sponsor. Um, their new owner wants to make Hertha into a big CD team. Uh, meaning they want to really get like Amazon's, you know, that not Teddy with uh, or something, something like that. So for now they actually were sponsoring a kid um, for uh, to support her leukemia cause I think or, some, or something like that. So actually nice. I mean Hertha tries to do many things right. They just have to get the management right because Hertha is still kind of a chaos club. Uh, but chaotic is not what I would call this jersey. I really like that they go back to the blue and white stripes which might be a tad too thin for my liking but I'm all right with that, but then uh, keep a little bit black in there to kind of give it some interest. And the black is actually mirrored from the uh, flag of the Hertha logo. So this is the mask, this is the uh, black, and then the uh, the two, um, the blue and the white, kind of make up the flag. It's kind of like a, ver a vertical flag. I think it's a really smart design. Yes, it's a little bit uh, asymmetric, but not bad now it really looks strong the only thing is that the back again is mostly uh white which kind of ruins it a little bit but other than that it's really nice i think the hertha logo i love the flag just by itself but it gets a little bit lost in there it could re it is really helped if it's in a circle i have to say this helps the hertha logo a whole lot but very very good jer jersey very interesting jersey um I want to also go eight stars with that one. Uh, and I have to say the away jerseys, although it's an absolute crazy pattern, when I saw it the first time playing in Bremen, uh, I actually really liked that one as well. Um, is it a wonderful jersey? No, but uh, you know, I like dark blue and uh, it f with all these specs on there, it gets a little bit into that, di that direction. Um, I think it's a seven star jersey. It's something, it finally, you know, yes, uh, Hertha can have black, uh, sometimes have black and red as an away jersey, but I have, have to say, this stays with the club's color, the crest oh, oh, doesn't look lost, it's really a nice one. Um, I actually like this one too. And then they issued a Berlin jersey, that's why BLN is on there, um, that they were in a cup competition, so it's maybe not really made for the Bundesliga jersey, but maybe it will pop up in the Bundesliga at one point. Um, this is different. Because instead of a sponsor, you have a reference to the city, and if you look on the bottom, uh, prop on the proper right, there's also an uh, imprint of the uh, district boundaries of Berlin. So this is really a city jersey. And red is not uncommon for Hertha, although of course it's now the color of the rival Union, which is funny because initially Union uh, in Eastern Germany and Hertha in Western Germany, the fan bases were actually friends and now they are having this, ri this rivalry, which I don't get. 
I also like this one. I think Hertha has some of the better looks. I really like the Berlin flag in there. Uh, the Berlin map in there. Um, the Hertha logo pops. It's a perfect third jer jersey, I, I would say. Um, is it exciting? No, it's not super exciting, but um, there, there are some nice accents on there that make it also for me. Uh, seven star star jersey this has to this is i mean i know it's made for the tourists almost so yeah hertha looking strong this season that's not what sounds something i can say often and then we have stuttgart i was really a uh, split should i wear a hertha or stuttgart in there um, i ask my dollars they say go for hertha and yeah, the hertha jersey is cool um stuttgart the, the first thing it's a classic look and the greatest thing is that the uh, chest band wraps around on this jersey. It actually doesn't do it on this jersey, which was a little bit disappointing, but uh, ever since Jakob does it, uh, does the other jerseys, the, um, it all wraps around. I really like that one. Um, the Mercedes sponsor also fits well with Stuttgart, because Mercedes is from Stuttgart. Um, I like the way the crest is, is, is applied. I'm not so sure about the silvery logos and then the sleeve sponsor. And also the piping here on the side. I really love the diagonal um, shadow striping, I have to say, and maybe the red outline. Uh, it's a decent Stuttgart jersey. It's not one that makes me crazy. I also find the sponsor, although it really fits, I wish it would just say Mercedes Benz. And maybe even without the logo or you know uh go this route where you have the logo uh above the chest the chest band that would make it i think a little bit better that way i only want to give this um six stars five stars mm -hmm. uh, six stars i think is fine but uh you know if there could be uh things done that would improve this jersey significantly i would say uh, the away jersey, I think, also use, uses either some map or whatever. Um, I actually like the black and red pattern. Uh, very good for Sh Stuttgart. Um, the crest is uh, gets a little bit, loses a little bit its impact in this uh, form. The sponsor looks better here, but again, I really would like to see the Mercedes star on top. But there is a certain cohesion to uh, to this jersey that I actually like. Um, this is this, although I like the home home jersey, Jan Jan for Stuttgart. This is a little bit better. I would give this seven stars. And then the third jersey tries to do something similar, but goes with green. And for me, this is barely defensible because the mascot for Stuttgart is a crocodile. So there, I can see the green coming a little bit from. But again, off color, full color crest, although. Full color crest here works in a way better. I, I actually think a full color crest on a black jersey would have worked better. But the sleeve sponsor in uh, blue does not work at all, I would say. So yeah, you already see where this is going. I think I'm gonna go five stars with this one. Uh, it's not the prettiest of jerseys. Which is also something I, I never can say about Wal Wals with have pretty jerseys. Last season they went with this dark green with this um, really bright X pattern all, all over that I hated and almost bought when they had the rainbow pattern on there. Now they still have this X pattern, which yeah, we got, get to associate with Wolfsburg, but uh, there's a too much lines going and the color is very in your face. It's better than last season's. It's better than last season's, I have to say, uh, but it's not a great choice. There's too much gradient and too much striping in there. Um, <laughs> I barely mix it out. I, I have to say, I give this three stars. There's just something about it that I really don't like. Uh, I really like the, the away jersey, um, except for the for the backside of, of the collar. Uh, that one looks great. That one looks very pleasing and good. Uh, good enough. I mean, even the uh, Volkswagen logo is perfect on, on, on there. I think this is good enough for eight stars. This is really, really well done. You take the bright green and it pops at the right point. And then they also reused the uh, away jersey from last season as a third. Not sure how often they will need it. Um, I said everything I need to say about this jersey. I think it is, has pleasing colors. It was the best jersey that they had last season. Six stars and that's fine. So yeah, this is where you come in. Please let me know what you thought about all these jerseys in the comments below. Um, I'm really curious to hear your opinion, whether you agree or disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you see more videos like these. Part three will be coming soonish. Up until then, bye. 
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.